in stitches it's friday the 19th of june and this is floss tube 70 74 i thought it was floss tube 76 earlier i don't know um i hope you're all well i've had a great stitchy fortnight um welcome if you're a new viewer it's lovely to have you here with me um welcome back if you're a regular viewer um thank you for the lovely comments on my stash dye video um i'm really looking forward and enjoying planning these kind of you know not regular floss tube update videos so next week i shall tell you about next week later because it'll be easy to explain so it's wet and miserable here it's been it's been quite a week we've had quite a week um flat battery on the car uh, water that should have been outside coming inside fortunately all these things have all been dealt with but it really was a few days um internet outage yesterday morning not our fault uh, so yeah it's been quite a quite a week already um my eldest went back to school um his year are allowed back into school so he went back monday for a couple of hours and from the account I got, it apparently all went, it was fine, it was what it, it was, what it was he, he did an English lesson on Monday and that was it and the rest is going to be over teams and how they've been doing it before. So that's that. Um, top felt all funny. Yeah. Anywho, so as I said it's been wet and miserable here, we had a nice afternoon Tuesday before the massive, 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 absolute deluge of water that poured out of the sky and caught up with um, a friend sat in the garden, caught up with um, a friend and um, that happens to be Lottie's, her daughter happens to be Lottie's best friend too so uh, they went off and played whilst we had a good old natter and a catch up. Um, yeah, we traded, I traded a, a skein of DMC for a recipe and a garage contact. There you go, that's just kind of how it goes. Um, because she hadn't been able to get one uh, locally, so I needed it to finish a project. Fortunately, I had some. Because let's face it, what stitch doesn't have a good old skein of DMC B5200 or blank in, because she wasn't first which one, in their stash. So anyway, um, on to today's. I've been, a, I've not been a monogamous stitcher. What's the? No. I don't know, by Morgan and by no, but I don't know. I've been, I've stitched on two projects, but three projects in two weeks. So um we'll show you Elizabeth Shepherd first. So Elizabeth Shepherd is by the Scarlet Letter. It's this. Oh, there we go. And I have been stitching this on this every weekend. And this is where I'm at. So I'm gonna do something we're gonna do fancy tech this is where I was last time and this is where I am now so I have done the top of well let's go let's move my coffee out boy because we don't want the coffee and tea stain this so this is that's the width of the page one and the bottom of page one as well um so i've got about ooh, I'm on different things, two thirds of this middle quaker to do um and then that'll be a, that'll be the a page finish on that Woo! pleased with that i might not once i've done my page i want a page finish in june which clearly is quite doable. And then I'd like um, a page finish every two months. But I might just stick to it being my weekend projects until it's done. I'm just cause I've, I've, I mean, I think I've made really good progress in two weeks. I think that's pretty impressive, so. Uh, the second project is a restart, and that's the Alice style. And I'm not finding, I can't remember. Had I restarted it last time? I didn't check, maybe. Maybe not. Um, if I did, if I had stuck restart, I don't think I did. I think I restarted it on the Monday, Friday, possibly. Hmm. 
one is not sure. I don't know. Um, if I, I wouldn't have been much. So that's where I am now. I've completed block one. There we go. The back stitch was absolutely fine on Ada. Um, oh, that's not good. Oh, that's good. I thought there was a big cag in it. Uh, yeah, the back stitch was actually fine. I just used the sharp. I don't. So that was easy enough. And so the Alice block's completely done. That's pretty much full coverage, all but about 60 stitches. Um, I've had a few issues with the vine. And um, as you can see, Rabbit's got pretty much everything but a head. So it's coming on. So my plan for this is to work um, until it's to get caught up basically. So this is my weekly project because it is taking me about five, four to five days. I mean, we've had a pretty torrid week, but um, so Monday and Tuesday were just kind of like, ugh. Um, but Wednesday and Thursday I managed to really get a kind of good, good, good lot done on this. Uh, anywho, so yeah, that's that. Put Elizabeth Shepherd away in its bag. So, that, so um, I shall try. I'm going to get the rabbit finished today. I thought I'd have. I was hoping I'd have it all stitched, but not back stitched before I show you. But no. Um, Becca Sabri stitches. Sure, I haven't shown you this. So this was an impromptu start. A tumble honey by Hands On Design. Um, came out at market. And. I made a start on it for the humble, hun humble honey cell. I can forget. I'll have to have a look. Yeah. Oh look, there's a the needle. So uh, let's put it back on That's where I'm at with that. Oh, it's like I've never made a frosty video before. This is 32 count black dahlia by Sparklers, and it's one of my favourite fabrics. So, I've got the bee skep done. Um, it's a quick stitch, so. Um, I have ch changed the colours. It's charted in DMC, but because I'm extra. I pulled uh, amber for the bee skep, and avocado, which is one of my favourite greens, for gender Arts avocado for the leaves and huckleberry for the flowers and then the cool for white which is 3865 so i'm pleased with how it's going So those are my whips for this last fortnight. Plans. Well, usually I'm um, on the summer equinox, the longest day. Uh, we have the longest day sale. Um, this was started by Joe of Serendip Serendipitous Stitching. Oh, way back. Uh, that's a blog, by the way. Um, oh, I don't know, four or five years ago, Joe. Can't remember. remember honestly and basically it's a day where you just try and hit all your whips if you can you know it might mean that you're only doing 20 minutes of time on them um, and uh, yeah so that's my plan for tomorrow is to basically do I've got 10 whips at the moment um, so I will see I'm not gonna I'm not getting any, I, haven't, I haven't brought anything in with me for sort of to show you what I'm gonna stitch on because I'm planning on recording a vlog tomorrow uh, which shows uh, as I do the projects so although I may record this afternoon the intro I don't know. so I'm hoping to get 45 minutes to an hour on each project um, I may do less on sorry my camera's really wobbly today I may do less on the on Alice and um, Elizabeth Shepherd, they might only get half an hour each. But we will see. We will see today. So, um, well, we'll see tomorrow. We'll see today. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, some people, yeah, people have done just the length of length of thread or, you know. So, 
if you've got no plans feel free to join us I, ha I have been known in the past to take a day off work to do it that's how much I love doing it I didn't do it last year I think it was just one of those I think was it last last year was crash weekend at work um, crash tests weekend at work and um, I wasn't gonna go and then I ended up going and then Father's Day and wedding anniversary and like everything kind of went all at once um, so uh, I didn't do it last week I think I think I tried to do it all over I said right, okay I'm gonna hit them all over a weekend that didn't happen either so I'm determined to hit my 10 this week this week so this weekend we will see what happens so look out for the vlog next Friday um, it's been a long morning it's been one of those kids have struggled with schoolwork today not struggled but just not being motivated some days it's like phew, done other days it's like pulling teeth today is a teeth pulling day right so, so we're going to move on to some haul and um, we've got not a lot this week um i haven't really been ordered i'm at that point where i know i need to put an order in but i don't want to just kind of i just want to just to put an order in. I don't want to be bits and drabs and bits and drabs. So um, I have my sparkless fabric. Uh, so this is slightly nutty. That's not far off actually. It's a very pale green. Pale that. Uh, pinky taupey kind of colour. Good neutral basically. And that's 36 count. Linen. Uh, it's a Zweigart base, so that's as you can see, it's one sparklers. And the other one is Virio or Virio, however you want to announce it. And that is a really good colour. I'd say it's mm, no, so that's fairly true, I guess. Maybe slightly lighter. I'm going to open this one up. So. Kate uses compostable bags, so they're always really. That's definitely showing a lot lighter than it is. So, but that's got some gorgeous mottling in it. So like some nice dark grit, and there's some just some patches of darker yellow. So that is lovely. That's going to be. Oh, that's, that's really cool. I'm super happy with that. And again, 36 count linen. That's the that is those. We have cross stitcher, and this is a good issue. Well, I think it's a good issue. So this is cross stitcher, July 2020, three uh, three five nine. So the cover kit was a little zipper pouch, and part and the threads for part two of the sal. That fabric's pretty. I like that. Oh, random i had some good news um the modern sewing center where my sewing machine needs to go for a uh, service is um reopening now so they're starting to take certain machines in for service although they are inundated so it could be quite a while before i get mine done but so anyway there's the zipper pouch and then we've got that's part two of the stitch along and that will be part three all right then contents oh, my. there we go seriously it's like i've never made a flash tube before and what's the matter with me so what's okay trend spotting unicorns um sunflower three of the best sunflowers Um, yeah. Uh, stitching with Jess is a little uh, positivity saying that says from little, little things, big things grow. We've got the Willow Fabrics order. Okay, there we go. So that's the July one. I'm so doing these next year. 
I think they're lovely. I really want to do those next year. Good innings is a village cricket scene. This is by Susan Bates. And so it'll be stitched on white, so the only thing that's not stitched is the cloud. Reader letters and things. We've got this really cute design from Cheryl McKinnon. I like that. Uh, the Savvy Stitcher is a strawberry necklace or jewelry set. I actually really like that, and I would I could see that being made into a garland, just like a little summer garland for my hatch. And then you can make a little envelope. Shows you how to make uh, an envelope to put it all into send. So yeah, that's a better. Sorry, that's got a better picture of it there. That's pretty cute. I like that. I'm missing Wimbledon. I really miss Wimbledon. Okay, beach. That's cool. I like that a lot. I'm a sucker for a lighthouse me and that's by Emma Congdon move that away from the crinkles we've got a sea creatures alphabet and I'm assuming the numbers are numbers too um, neon birthday cards quite cool Have a look. I don't know who they're by. Doreen Jones, actually, surprisingly. Fields of Gold, Sunflowers. Very Provencal. Like that. Again, full coverage. Oh no, full coverage except for a tiny bit of sky. They're very pretty. Uh, it, there is an, uh, an interview with. Um, couple of people about Jane Austen embroidery and how it brings Georgian needlework to a modern audience. In fact there's a book out. That's cool. Love these. Look at those. They're really fun. All sewing themed little mini samplers. Sorry, samplers. Not samplers. I get told off for samplers. I like the Doreen Jones one. Uh, we've got a unicorn. I can't think of any pos anybody possibly wouldn't want. And I forget who that's by. No, it's a Doreen Jones as well. Um, I think this is probably my favourite in the whole thing. And I will be stitching this. Is this phenomenal spot sampler. Love this so much. Take a minute. I think that's fab. So I will be doing that. Because let's face it, I've got 500 magazines. I probably ought to stitch something out of them. Love that though. So I'll be stitching that. And that's by Amanda Butler, who is the same designer as the Alice Sal. But it just looks fab. And I love the way that they stitch them. I think. What? It's 178 by 118. And they've done it on oatmeal either. So there, yeah, look. I just love it in that green frame and oh, gorgeous. Needs to be done. Uh, this Alice Sal has got March Hare and Dormouse. Should get to that about mid July. And I think that's probably the lot. It is the lot. 
So coming in a couple of weeks time, three weeks time is that. So there we go. So that is cross stitcher, just a quick overview again, cross stitcher 359. So I think that's a very good addition. So just the giveaways left. So if you're new here, I give away charts generally from magazines every um, most 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 episodes, videos, episodes, editions, whatever. Um, so if you want, so the, uh, yeah, that's the winner mail. I'll get that in the post to you. Only there were only three people this time. So and BT BT. I can't even say it. BT. This one's coming to you. I've got your address. So, um, yeah, I am so behind with posting. I'm really sorry, everyone. I've got an absolute pile of stuff to send. I think I've got. I think I'm up to like seven now that I need to go. So next week I will go to the post office. It's been a week. I was going to go this week. Oh, so I'm okay. So I'm just going to do one this week just to enable me to catch up and. Um, so the giveaways I am going to draw in my regular floss tubes, um, not in the special edition. So you have still got two weeks as normal. So if you want to stitch the fairy, tell me that. Be over 18. Um, I'll post anywhere. Be over 18. What's the rest of it? Be a subscriber. I don't worry. Don't worry if you don't like the video. Um, leave me a comment. Don't say giveaway. Be over 18. That'll do. Um, yeah, I'll post anywhere. So, uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Uh, Joan Elliot. That's quite cute, isn't it? Lots never into fairies, really. Unicorns and rainbows, yes. Fairies, no. Um, so, uh, oh, shout out. I've got a shout out. Stitching in the bluegrass. Have you been watching Becca? Oh, sorry, Sambri's wobbling the wobbling the what's it Sambri stitches um has been doing some interviews they are lots and lots of i really like it. i found so many good new floss tubers um nisi lynn i wasn't watching um stitching in the bluegrass again what girls found instant instant drawn instant you know drawn instantly to that one um who else have i i mean anna stitch roadie I, I wasn't watching her so another new floss tuber for me um i'm gonna have a quick look at I don't think I shouted many people out. No, clearly just haven't been writing them down. Oh no, I did, okay. So I had to do it. Yeah, so basically if I'm not watching them, I tend to be going over and um, subscribing. So thank you, Beckett, for just uh, some great new floss tubers to watch. Um, yeah. So I'm really enjoying those. And that's pretty much it. So another fairly short video. I'm gonna uh, so look out for my vlog um, next week about how much I uh, stitched this weekend. Um, go. Uh, I reckon I can get 45 to 50 minutes on each. I'm looking. I'm excited. You know it's going to be a disaster. Disaster, darling. Um, so I'm, I am looking forward to it. Say so 10 whips. So I've got. We're gonna go. We're gonna talk about it now because I've decided. I've got the twenty three minutes. Um, so we've got Elizabeth Shepherd's my oldest whip, and then we have Blackwork Lady. I want to get an hour on Blackwork Lady. We then have um, the Apothecary Sign. I think that's 27, 2018 one as well uh, by Darling and Whimsy. Um, yeah. Uh, what else we got? And um, we've got Jack Frost's Tree Farm. So I need to start a new one for that uh, of the series, but I'm still counting it as an active whip. Uh, and also uh, Lizzie Kate Flip It. So June one to start. Yeah. Or I might start the July one and just skip June and we'll come back. To, we'll circle back to that next year. I don't know. Or next time or whenever. Um, what else we got? Hey, uh, May's still up for that one. Um, and then that just leaves Cardinal Points and Monkey Wrench from this year. What else? Humble Honey and the Humble Honey and the Cross Stitcher Cell and Alice. There we go. So five from this year and five from 2018 and 2019. And that'd be the lot. So um, 
I'm really looking forward to stitching all those tomorrow. Um, there'll be lots of coffee involved. So take care friends, have a great stitchy fortnight, um, stay safe and happy stitching. Bye bye. Thanks for watching my channel and leaving me such great comments, they really do mean a lot. Thanks for all the likes, the subscriptions, don't forget to hit the bell to receive notifications of my new videos and happy stitching!